Hi my friends and welcome to our classroom. We're going to be doing a math lesson today. We're going to be diving into the world of subtraction or takeaway. Now, some of you have never heard of subtraction so we're going to go over some really important things to remember when we are subtracting or taking away. Before we do that, subtraction, that's a really big word. Let's see how many sounds are in the word subtraction. Let's see. We have subtraction. Let's do it again. Subtraction. That's three sounds. That's a really big word. All right, so let's get into some subtraction. Okay, let's talk about some differences there is with subtraction and addition, or takeaway and adding. Subtraction uses a different symbol. Let me show you. When you add, you have this symbol. It's called a plus sign. This means that we're adding. When we're subtracting, we have a symbol called the minus sign. This means we are taking away. Now I'm going to show you what a number sentence for subtraction looks like and what a number sentence for addition looks like. And then we're going to compare and contrast to see the similarities and differences between the two. Okay, so here we have two number sentences. One is an addition number sentence and the other one is a subtraction number sentence. Let's go ahead and read each number sentence. Remember, when we read, we go left to right and we point at each number and symbol as we read it. You can do it with me, or if you would like, you can just listen to how I read each number sentence. Let's start with the one that is over the blue line. We have one plus two equals three. This is an addition number sentence. You can tell because the symbol is a plus sign. Now let's read the number sentence under the blue line. Ready? Five minus one equals four. Now I can tell that this is a subtraction sentence because of the symbol. This is a minus sign. So now I'm gonna break down the differences between an addition number sentence and a subtraction number sentence. Here's my first number sentence. Can you tell me, is this an addition number sentence or a subtraction number sentence? I'll give you a hint. Look at the symbol. Right, it's an addition number sentence and we can tell because this symbol, this plus sign, tells us to add. An addition number sentence says to take one number, add it to another, smush them together, and we create a new number. Like in this number sentence. One plus two equals three. Let's make sure that that's right. I'm gonna do one of my adding strategies down below here so that we can check to make sure if this is true. I'm gonna go ahead and draw circles under my numbers to see if this is right. If I have the number one here, I'm going to draw one circle. If I have the number two here, I'm going to draw two circles. Now I'm going to add them up or smoosh them all together to see what new number do I make. I have one, two, three. So this is right, one plus two equals three. Okay, here's another number sentence. Is this number sentence an addition number sentence or a subtraction number sentence? Remember the hint. Look at the symbol. Right, this is a subtraction number sentence and we can tell because when we look at this symbol, it's not a plus sign. This is a minus sign, which means we're gonna take away some numbers. So remember how I said that addition means we take two numbers, smush them together, and we get a bigger, different number? Now this number sentence is telling us to take away 
some numbers. I'm going to show you how you do that. But first, let's read the number sentence together. You can read it with me or you can just listen along. This number sentence says, five minus one equals four. So now I'm going to teach you three different strategies you can use when solving a subtraction problem. They're similar to the ones that I've taught with addition problems. I'm gonna link those videos down in the description below so that you can look at them and refresh your memory, or if you've never seen them, go ahead and check them out anyway. When we talk about subtraction, we're talking about taking away. When we read this sentence, we can read it in two different ways. We can say five minus one equals four, or you can say five take away one equals four. I like to say take away because that paints a picture in my head about what I have to do. Let's do the first strategy. We're gonna use our fingers. Sound familiar? So, five take away one. This first number is going to tell me how many fingers I need to put up. Five. Now take away one. That sounds like I need to take away one of my fingers. So I'm gonna go ahead and put down one finger. How many fingers are left? Let's count together. One, two, three, four. So this number sentence is correct. Five take away one equals four. Now let's do it with our marker. Now remember, it's gonna look kind of like an addition problem and how we would solve it with our marker, but look at the difference. So when I look at this first number, it's gonna tell me how many circles I need to draw. Watch. Five, one, two, three, four, five. Now, I'm not going to draw circles for this number. Because remember, when I read this number sentence, it says five take away. I've got to take away one. With our fingers, I had to take away a finger. With the circles, I've got to take away a circle. So you can either cross out or erase. I like to do the cross out. So I'm gonna take away one circle. Now you can take away the first circle the second circle, the third circle, the fourth circle, or you can go ahead and take away the fifth circle, but you only take away one. So now let's count how many circles are left over. Ready? One, two, three, four. Still correct? All right, I'm gonna show you the last strategy. This strategy means that we need to use manipulatives. Remember, manipulatives can be anything that you can grab with your fingers. They can be my counting vehicles, if you have them at home. They can be rocks. They can be Skittles. They can be pieces of broccoli. Mm. So I'm going to use my counting vehicles. So just like when we were using our fingers, when we were drawing with circles, we have to remember that we are only going to put manipulatives under the first number. So this number is five. Now I've put up five counting vehicles. One, two, three, four, five. I am not going to put a manipulative or a counting vehicle under the number one. Remember this symbol, the minus sign, is telling us we have to take away. So just like I took away my finger and I took away a circle, I've got to take away a vehicle. Doesn't matter which one. I'm gonna go ahead and take away the middle one. Now let's count how many vehicles are left. We have one, two, three, four. Four, nice job. Now let's do some subtraction number sentences that don't already have the answer and let's see if you can solve them. So here's a new number sentence. Let's go ahead and read it together. Remember, this is a subtraction number sentence. We can tell because the symbol is a minus sign. So let's go ahead and read it together. Remember, we read left 
to right and point to each number and symbol as we read it. Ready? Four, take away one equals. Now we don't know what it's gonna equal. Let's go ahead and use our finger strategy. The first number is going to tell you how many fingers to put up. So this number is four. Let's go ahead and put up four fingers. One, two, three, four. Now, this symbol is telling us we need to take away. How many do we need to take away? Take away one. So let's put down one finger or take away one finger. How many fingers are left? Let's count. One, two, three. So that means four take away one equals three. Good job. Let's do one more problem together and we're gonna use a different strategy. Here's another number sentence. Remember, we can tell that this is a subtraction number sentence because of the symbol. This is a minus sign. So let's go ahead and read this number sentence together. Remember, we read from left to right and we point to each number and symbol as we read them. Ready? Three, take away one equals. So we're gonna do the circle strategy. We're gonna draw circles and then take away. So we're gonna look at the first number. How many circles do I need to draw? Three, good job. Let's go ahead and draw three circles. One, two, three. Now, do I draw circles under this number? Nope. If it were an addition number sentence, I would. But this symbol tells us we are taking away. So, it's telling us to take away how many circles? One. Now you can erase or you can cross out. I like to cross out. So let's take away one circle. And remember, it can be any one of these circles. Let's go ahead and take away the first one. So now we have to count how many circles are left. How many are not crossed out? Ready? One, two. So the answer to this problem, three take away one equals Two. Good job, guys. Now this video is focusing on taking away one with all of the number sentences. I'll make another video later about taking away bigger numbers. But for right now, just focus on taking away one. I love you. I miss you. I wish you well. And until next time, see you, my friends.